Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You are watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're going to be looking at 10 ways that radiation comes in handy. We already know that radioactive elements can be used to make electricity, treat cancer, and create bombs with massive destructive power, but radiation also has many other uses that happen in our everyday lives that you might not be aware of. That's what we're looking at in today's video. The Top 10 Coolest Ways Radiation Comes in Handy Number 10. Sterilizing food Yep, food, meats, shellfish, vegetables, and even spices have all been approved by the FDA for irradiation. Exposing food to radiation kills any bacteria or organisms that may cause nasty illnesses like E. coli or salmonella. The process also kills any bugs that may be living on fruits shipping from tropical locales. Anyone who has read about the Brazilian wandering spider knows that this is a very good thing. While putting the words food and radiation together may sound scary, the process doesn't make our food radioactive. In fact, you can't really tell the difference between irradiated and non-irradiated foods in terms of taste, texture, or nutritional value. But you definitely will be able to tell the difference between lettuce with E. coli and lettuce without E. coli. Just trust me on this one. Number 9. To treat pain in the medical world, radiation can be used to treat patients with severe pain resulting from late-stage cancer. This procedure is called palliative radiation therapy, and it can really transform the quality of life for cancer patients. In some patients, the cancer can metastasize to the bone, causing painful tumors. Shooting these tumors with radiation can shrink them and result in significant pain reduction for the patient. This treatment will not cure the cancer, but it can be a lifesaver for patients with advanced stages of cancer. A study was published in 2010 that demonstrated the incredible effects of radiation therapy. The study examined five patients with bone marrow cancer. All suffered from intense pain. Some were even wheelchair-bound as a result. After receiving radiation therapy, the majority were pain-free, and the results lasted as long as three years. Which is pretty amazing, right? Number 8. Test Worlds for Cracks Picture this. We're standing on the observation deck of the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, admiring the beautiful view of Dubai. Beneath us is almost 55,000 tons of steel and rebar and 110,000 tons of concrete. This is the time we should really be thankful for radiographers. They are the ones that test wells for cracks, irregularities, or weak spots. Here's how it works. Radiographers place a detector behind the weld and then use a small radiation source to shoot X-rays or gamma rays at it. Any places where the weld is thin or cracked will allow the rays through, where they are picked up by the detector, giving a clear picture of any weld deficiencies. Number 7. Track substances in your body If you've ever had a heart attack, you may be familiar with this one. This nifty application allows scientists to attach a radioactive tracer to a substance and use the radioactivity coming from the tracer to follow the path of the substance. This is used a lot as a diagnostic test to determine heart health. The patient is injected with a radioactive isotope with a short half-life, so they aren't leaking radioactivity all over the place for weeks, usually technetium-99. Doctors can then get a clear picture of how the blood is moving through the heart. A similar method can be used to trace groundwater movement. By adding tritium, a radioactive hydrogen isotope to water, we can see exactly the path the water is taking. Three cheers for science on that one. Number 6. Carbon Dating Now, this is one you have probably heard of. In case you haven't, carbon dating is a method of using radioactivity to determine the appropriate age of an artifact, as long as that artifact was once alive. For example, bone, wood, and fabrics can all be dated. Metal and stone, not so much. This is because carbon dating requires the object to contain a little carbon-14. Plants get it by absorbing carbon dioxide, animals get it by eating the plants. When the animal or plant dies, it stops taking in new carbon-14 and the radioactive element slowly decays away with a half-life of 5,700 years. By measuring the current amount of carbon-14, scientists can figure out how much time has passed. Even though it can't be directly used on non-living things, any particles attached to an artifact that do meet the carbon-14 criteria can be tested. For example, a stone bowl with some linen particles embedded. This gives it a rough age estimate. And when we are talking in terms of thousands of years, a rough estimate will do just fine. Number 5. Smoke Detectors and Exit Signs When we accidentally burn our morning eggs, radiation comes to the rescue in the form of a smoke detector. The vast majority of homes have ionizing smoke detectors in them. These detectors have teeny tiny amounts of radioactive material, typically americium-241, and electrically charged metal plates. The radiation ionizes the air, creating an electrical current between the plates. 
When the smoke from the eggs enters the chamber, the smoke particles disrupt the current, causing the detector to alarm and giving us plenty of time to put out the egg fire. But what happens if we put on our super noise cancelling headphones to have a quick pre work dance party and totally miss the alarm until the rapidly descending smoke layer becomes noticeable? Well, then we see radiation at work again in the form of exit signs. These handy signs sometimes have radioactive tritium gas in them that glows in the dark, lighting our way even when the power goes out. Number 4. Genetically Mutate Plants As we all learned from Spider-Man, radiation exposure can cause DNA mutations. In humans, this can lead to not-so-good stuff like cancer. But doing the same thing to plants can result in some pretty useful changes to plant DNA that can improve taste, yield, and even resistance to disease. This method is already pretty widely used, and scientists think it could make a dent in solving the world's food crisis by producing crops that are easier to grow and use less and less land and pesticides. Now, if the idea of mutant hill people food makes you nervous, fret not. It doesn't make the food radioactive, and it is not the same process used to create genetically modified organisms (GMOs), where DNA is spliced into a species, adding material that wasn't there to begin with. Plants experience natural mutations all the time, and this just speeds the process up. It's the equivalent of hitting shuffle on your favorite party playlist. The songs are the same, but the vibe can totally change. Number 3. Ice Cream Quality Control did you ever wonder how every tub of Ben & Jerry's is perfectly creamy and delicious every single time you eat the whole tub while binge-watching Netflix in your PJs? The answer lies in radioisotope density gauges. A radioactive source is directed at the product. The material reflects some of the radiation back to the source where a sensor reads it. The ratio of the source that is reflected back versus passes through can be used to calculate the density. Any carton that doesn't make the cut isn't shipped to stores. I think a lot of us would heroically volunteer to help out with the subpar sweets. These density gauges are used all over the food industry to ensure consistency in soup, beer, coffee, amongst many other things. They can even be used to test eggshells for thin weak spots. It definitely isn't as important as the ice cream thing, but I guess it has to be done. Number 2. Blue Topaz Blue topaz does occur naturally, but most are artificially made by exposing more common varieties of topaz to radiation. The radiation changes the structure of the stone, knocking the atoms around and causing the gem to change color. The gem is then heated, producing a lovely blue color. The stone is stored until the levels of radiation emitted fall below allowed levels. The same process is also done to diamonds and other gems to produce fancy colors at less than fancy color prices. Number 1. Check food for metal Have you ever bitten into a hot dog and gotten a mouthful of bone? No? Well, you may have x-ray scanners to thank for that. Many manufacturers have started requiring that their food go through specialized x-ray machines that can check for metal shards, bones, rocks, and any other item that we generally don't want in our pizza or ice cream. The scanners use sophisticated software that does the hard work of detecting any foreign objects. No humans necessary. And just like item 1 from this video, this process is also not dangerous. In fact, the x-ray machines expose the food to about the same amount of radiation as you would get from natural sources in 2.5 hours of just sitting around. The bigger danger would be chomping down on a sandwich and getting a lovely metallic surprise. So thank you for watching that video about radiation and some of its surprising uses. Are there some we missed? Do you know of another use for radiation that we might not have thought of? Leave us a comment below, we do read them. Also, like this video to help it get in front of more people, we'd really appreciate it. And also subscribe to our channel, we put out a new video 7 days a week, 6pm Eastern Standard Time. It's content just like this, so you watch to the end of the video, you're probably gonna dig our other stuff. Also, a couple of other videos you might like if you like this one about radiation. There's the top 10 obscure inventions that killed their inventors, and also so another one is top 10 mind-bending theories about the universe. We think you'll like both of those. So again, thank you for watching.